Here's what I can tell you. There are two guys on the set that love cupcakes. Another one who won't even touch a cupcake because it's too sweet. Curtis Conway is that guy. Nigel and I, we <laughs> love. Guys. Well, cupcake. we're the cupcake guys. Oh not to burn God. Curtis Conway and Mike and with you. He's still shredded like I he like can actually regular play. cake. Then I, I, <laughs> I bring up the cupcakes because Popular Mechanics, the magazine, said that for Jim Harbaugh, the the cupcake on the schedule was Utah, heading to Salt Lake City. Ooh. Who would have thunk it? Now they have sort of pulled back a little bit and apologized to Utah. They actually sent cupcakes to the school to try to smooth things over. But yet, in my mind, this is still a Utah team that maybe has a Heisman candidate in Devontae Booker, but you know this as well as anyone. A lot of times we focus in on the quarterbacks, and Travis Wilson doesn't always get a ton of love. Maybe it's because of the turnovers, maybe because there's been some times when he's been banged up. We didn't know a season ago if he'd be able to play. What are realistic expectations for him? Well, for me, they're big. When you, you, when you have a running back like Devontae Booker in the backfield, you know defenses are going to circle him. We have to stop him. So Travis is going to see eight men in the box. He's going to see a lot of guys trying to slow down the run, which means he's going to have a lot of one-on-one -on -one coverage on the outside. Now, I know they lose a big-time receiver and Andreas Anderson, yeah. but here's the deal. If you're playing football at this level and you're playing wide receiver and you put the one-on-one -on -one coverage outside, you have to. There's no zones. There's no trying to figure things out. I think this offense is going to see that. Travis Wilson has to step up and have a big year this year because, again, in order for them to, to move forward and get better, he's going to have to throw the ball. He's going to have to do it well. Right, and, and you know, flipping the other, on the other side, talking about Michigan, it, everybody's made a lot of Vernon Adams transferring from Eastern Washington and fifth-year senior, and, you know, what are the ethics behind a, a guy being able to do something like that? Jim Harbaugh has Jake Rudolph, who not only did the same exact thing, but he did it within the conference. So he was a starting quarterback at Iowa, making the transition to one of their arch rivals in Michigan in his last season and seeing how they can infuse that offense and do some things uh, to try to bring back the tradition Michigan against a team that took it to him pretty well last year. For what it's worth, Glenn Parker was our guest on Sports Report on Monday night, and he does his segment Pigskin with Parker. We had asked him about a big-time performance from Booker, what that would do for his Heisman sort of candidacy, and he said, look, if he has a big game, national television against a team like Michigan, he might be in at least starting week number two as maybe a top three candidate. You guys talk about it as a quarterback spot. However, this is what I can say. Yeah. Kyle Whittingham has really pushed Devontae Booker as a realistic Heisman candidate. He's a monster last year. We'll see what he's able to accomplish Thursday night against Michigan. But that'll wrap things up for Nigel and Curtis and myself. Don't forget for everything that's happening around the conference, all you have to do is follow us on Twitter at Pac-12 Networks. Cup.